Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Yours is to pass, Excuse me. and ours is to delight. Toba. I've been a bit out of sorts since... since our daughter was taken from us. Toba. Not really sure what to do with myself anymore. One I moment. I just miss her so much. I'm sorry to hear about your daughter. I'm here representing the... the Vigilant of Stendar, and I have some questions about your daughter. I'm sorry. She was very dear to me. And it's rather painful to think about. I'd rather not talk about my daughter, if you'll excuse me. Hmm, well I do have authority in this matter. And I do need your cooperation. Well, alright. What exactly do you need to know? I'd like to investigate her house. But I'll need the key. Yerim? Well, I'm not sure what you think you'll find there, but you're welcome to have a look. Thank you. All right, Hist. It's pronounced Yeren. Let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me, citizen. I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? You shatter shields must... Hmm? Be everywhere. This is a city of shatter shield, it seems. Okay. Now. All right, Hist. We have the key. Be ready for anything. Oh, this is good. We're supposed to be looking for clues. Well, there's certainly a lot of blood here. Bottles of mead. From the marks on the floor, it looks like this box was pushed against the wall. Beware the Butcher. The killer who haunts the streets of Windhelm. These calamitous times bring out the worst in people. Don't become the next victim. See Viola Giordano if you spot any suspicious behavior. Hmm, I've got the Butcher's Journal. I thought I had it. Here, Journal Butcher. The plans are coming together swimmingly. I've found good sources of bone, flesh, and blood. But thus far, a good sampling of sinew and marrow have escaped me, no matter. The city is swollen with contemptuous fools who will be missed by nobody. Last night, was almost able to corner Susanna as she left Candlehearth. Idiot guard showed up at the last, up at just the wrong moment. I don't know what I'm reading. And I had to turn about, just out for a stroll and so forth. There will be other chances, but the time is drawing near. I think back to my time in Winterhold. All the wasted minds up in their towers. They only explore the magic they already know. I am discovering new magic here. Something deeper than the can-tripped shenanigans of fire and light. This flesh magic is older than us. Perhaps older than the world itself. I am tugging at the corners of the fabric of the universe. And where it bunches and folds is where I shall create my greatest triumph. One more attempt at the Candle Hearth girl. She's proving to be a bit too cautious, but those strong joints of her should contain the most exquisite tendons worth the effort for tonight. This is horrible. 
Stendar, have mercy. All right, let's keep searching for clues. This is a perfectly good wardrobe, and it was left behind for some reason. Hmm. Quite a nice kitchen knife. That's it. The shelf is filled with more of these butcher flyers from around the city. One pile looks misshapen. I think it's this one, isn't it? No, it's not that one. There's an amulet here. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Hmm. A strange amulet with a green skull. Seem to recall that that has necromantic meaning. All right, this wardrobe seems to be nailed to the wall. A false panel. By the divines. Look at these skeletons. The blood. This altar is built to some unknown magic. It looks like someone is using body parts towards some gruesome end. And here's another piece of the journal. Seventeen tendons and assorted ligaments, 173 fragments of bone for assemblage, approximately four bucketfuls of blood, Nord preferred, six spoons of marrow, no more than two from a thigh, twelve yards of flesh before cutting, star scrying to the edge of the ice mine, look to the lights where the souls dance, revealing the time when a spark will revive, when the rotted unites under most skillful hands. Translation from Aldem Aldemer text as interpreted by the Aliads and first transcribed by Altmer. Provenance and authority unknown. Huh, I'll take this. All right, so. I think this rules out the vampire. Talk to me about the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Theirs is a centuries-old order, dating back to the Oblivion Crisis. It began as merely a gathering of feeble lords, until the Divines intervened. Legends say the hero of Kvarch became a member, and trained the Order in the ways of combat. That knowledge was passed down from old members to new, and over time, the Order became more organized, and its rituals more austere. Today, members are handpicked and trained from a young age. Ours was a life cloistered in barracks and libraries, sharpening the weapons of war. We dedicated our lives to a single purpose. 
to silence all other voices, so that we are better attuned to listen. Alright. Well, you still seem to be up. You appear to be conflicted over your decision. When I was young, my mentor told me a tale of the peasant who found a stray cat living in the alley behind his house. His was to bemoan its presence, but weeks later he found that the cat kept his home free of vermin. The peasant grew quite fond of the cat, until one day it bit his leg and infected the man with a terrible fever. The peasant, who had never been ill a day in his life, finally went to see the city alchemist whom he had stubbornly avoided all these years. It was love at first sight. But who is to say how the peasant would feel the next day? All he could do is take that chance. I wish to follow you on your quest. I do not know to what end, but ours is to trust in the will of the divines. All right, very well. I think we can drop these uh, butcher letters. Hmm. Yes, here. Beware the butcher. We'll drop all of them. If he comes back, he'll know someone's been here. That we're on to him. Was there anything else? Let's see. Check upstairs before we go. Investigate bed and chairs. The chair is stacked on the bed in an odd fashion. So... I'm not sure what to make of that. What do we have over here? Fine clothes. No, you have any thoughts on this uh, bed and chair arrangement? I think, did someone try to hang themselves? I mean, it would certainly have helped if there was a rope there. Okay, I think we're done here. I look in this room. I suppose we need to head back to uh, Palace of the Kings. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. 
We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. Who are you? I've and spent my life happen? serving Talos. I don't if plan to stop now, us. no matter right. what the Empire says. All right. Who knows that? I was just they checking to make that. sure that you weren't a vampire. How long are you going to wait? Talos created the Empire. I need to send you think they'd the show your leaf? Any luck finding the Butcher? Message you mean, Do you know what this amulet is? I've never seen anything like it. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. So we're ready to start. Might even give you a bit of gold for it. Soon. All right. Well, can you tell me anything about the butcher? Oh, have you been talking to Viola Giordano? Not yet. She posts those all over the city, and someone keeps taking them down. Ask her about it if you want an earful. We're ready when you are. All right then. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. We can take the city without bloodshed. Thank you. All the better. But if not. The people are behind you. The way I see it, Ulfric's fighting a holy war. Sir. Someday all of Skyrim will worship Talos openly. All right. As we do here. I... We know all right, I'm just checking to see if you might have anything else of value to say. Hist, let's get going. They have families to think of. How many of their sons? See, we might be able to get to the the shop before it closes. I still, what? I can't get over all these dead bodies here. What on earth? What on nern is going on? It's a merchant. Okay. Locked. All right, it's too late to speak with him. Let's see what else we can do. Lord Nilsson ah. has been wrecked since her sister was Viola. Killed. You know he has nice meetings there. He found it and could be around Damn any good corner. Push. Oh come on, ladies, you can't all speak at once. Viola. After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. I'm sure you are. What can you tell me about the butcher? I've been following him for months now. Well, not actually following. Trying to find him. The guards won't help. The people won't help. I'm the only <sighs> one who thinks he can be caught. He's hardly ever in the temple. I see him at breakfast. Why and can't it. the guards help? They say they're too busy with the war. Man, I say, what good is winning a war if we're still terrorized by one of our own? I found this journal in the killer's lair. What's it say? It sounds like a necromancer has been experimenting. Woundfirth. There what? have been rumors swirling about him for years. As long as I can remember. But he's a dangerous man. That's why they call him the Unliving. I wouldn't approach him directly. This information needs to go straight to the steward. He'll listen to you. you got We're the some only nice temple in Skyrim that can openly Makes worship Talos. Time and punch. again, and all the guards care all about right. is the war. Woundfirth, yes. I believe, is the court mage. What a terrible thing to accuse him of. We're okay, hissed. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't see you standing up there. Oh, what happened? What happened? Maybe too late. I did want to get a room. Make sure you're not a vampire. Algriff won't give us a straight answer. Oh, good. He's still He's up. He's a true lord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. How goes the investigation? Oh, it's going. You couldn't possibly be the Dragonborn of Legend, could you? I could be. And what would you have me do? All right, well, I've heard a lot of hearsay and conjecture, but the leading theory is that Woundfirth could be the killer. 
That's quite an accusation. I know. I assume is. you have proof. Someone has been practicing necromancy in Hierum, and Viola thinks it's wound food. Well, come back when you have some more evidence. I think you're on the trail, though. So we're ready. All right. I'm glad you're not taking my word for it. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. I really don't have the proof. All right, let's go. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarl. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our army. Alright, we're going to get a room for the night. And then we need to go to the, uh, whatever that Calixo shop and inquire about this nothing. amulet. You can spare that, can't you? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Never much cared for Windhelm. The place is Got depressing. some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Mm, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I'm a lot happier out here on the deck than I am wandering around in that ruin of a city. Alright, what time is it? 10.30? Might as well get a really restful night. What do you Let mean, me be know careful? If there's anything else you need. All right, thank you. You can leave Captain, now. Have you heard these stories of oh dragons? But the huh? Please leave the room. Thank you. Now let me pray. Stendar. Grant me your power and your wisdom. Yours is to pass, and ours is to delight. All right, let's go, Hist. You got and some nice good meat morning. there. Makes for a damn good. You got some nice meat hooks there. Really? Makes for a damn good punch. Some other time, I'm busy. You lost? Hmm. No, I'm not. Are you Calixto? My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. Hmm. Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. Well, you mentioned a tour. Indeed, I did. For a few septims, I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. All right, I'll take the tour. Splendid. If you'll just follow me, I'll tell you tales and show you wonders such as you've never seen. These tools were found in a crypt outside Windhelm. They belonged to the ancient Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before the days of the First Empire. Most scholars believe that the Nords of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? Indeed. Here is the Book of Fate, discovered in a secret room in the Arcane University. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader, so the words change from one person to the next. Some see only blank pages, and nobody knows why. Perhaps some of us are born with no destiny, or maybe the blank pages signify an imminent death. 
Hmm. That's certainly something to consider. Yes, I hope you're taking ah, all this in. Now here's an item out of legend. This is Iskramor's soup spoon. What? Now I know what you're thinking. This is no spoon, it's a fork. Nobody can eat soup with a fork. Well, my friend, you did not know Iskramor. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Don't let this innocent looking flute fool you, for this is the dancer's pipe. Legend holds that the dancer's pipe has won wars, toppled empires, and changed the very course of history. None know its origins, but the stories say that men who hear its music are compelled to dance uncontrollably, no matter the peril. Hmm. To That's activate this strange power, one must only speak the magic words, which are... <laughs> oh my! I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't hmm. I? Yes, you did. If you were to believe the truth about this. And with that, the tour is over. Oh, it is. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon. All right, thank you. Let me question him. Calixto. Welcome to the House of Curiosity. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. Thank you. You've already given me the tour. My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. How did you assemble this collection? My sister and I inherited a modest sum of money. We decided to travel and seek out whatever adventures we could find. As we journeyed across Tamriel, we encountered tales of exotic and wondrous artifacts. We decided to collect as many as we could. My sister passed away some years ago, so I settled down here and opened the House of Curiosities. I think she would be happy to know that our collection has brought smiles to faces both young and old. All right. Well, the real reason for my visit is this amulet. Do you know anything about it? Let me see. Ah, yes. This is the Wheelstone. It's an heirloom symbol of the power of Windhelm. Traditionally, it's carried by the court mage. What? I would uh, be interested in acquiring it, if you're willing to part with it, that is. For a piece like that, I could pay 500 gold. Shouldn't the court mage have it? Wunferth? Bah. It's purely ceremonial, and he has no use for it. Besides, I wouldn't want to be the one to give it to him. It gives me the creeps. They say he dabbles in necromancy. As you sip your drink. All right, well, I think I will hold on to it for the time being. Suit yourself. It's only of value to collectors, though. Good luck finding anyone else who will appraise it that highly. All right. Thank you, sir. A most pleasant chat. Until the next. Yes. All right, Hist. Our investigation continues. I do the cooking and cleaning for the palace. Any luck finding the butcher? Well, I think I have the evidence that you're looking for. Unfortunately, as much as I hate to implicate Woundfirth, I believe he is the killer. That's quite an accusation. I know. I assume you have proof. Things hinge on White Run. We have evidence of necromancy, and we have found his amulet. I don't want to believe it. Woundfirth has been a trusted friend to Ulfric for many years. It pains me to see that the whispers had truth to them. Yes. Woundfirth shall be apprehended. I thank you for your diligence in getting to the bottom of this matter. The streets of Windhelm are now safe. Yes, they are. Skyrim to wager. 
Stendar be praised. Stendar's mercy upon everyone. How many of their sons and daughters follow your All right Lord, among the hist. <laughs> well it looks like we've done our work here. I'm the least important person in here. Yes, sir. The depths of oblivion. We've solved the murder. The murders. Yes, why do you it doesn't them? appear it's that the vampire what, then? was behind them. I'll die before elves dictate. It's time for I me to go and visit Varanya. Only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight ah, there's for my one, people. There's Woundworth now. Impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them. Yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. All right, Among the Hist. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. It's time for us to part ways. I'm headed to the to Stendar's beacon to meet Varanya. I understand. Always walk the true path, and always have the wisdom to recognize it. And you as well. Stendar's mercy upon you.